Hi guys, uh, Precious here. Um, on November 1st, the Angular team released Angular 5 and a new Angular command line 2, Angular 1.5. That's good news for all of us uh, because Angular 5 comes with a lot of improvements uh, that will increase uh, our applications and also make uh, development easier. So what is new? Okay, so the first one I want to talk about is the deprecation of this library, the Angular slash HTTP library, which comes with the HTTP model. And uh, yes, it's been deprecated. So previously, to use it, you import the HTTP model from this library and add it to your uh, imports. Then, inside your service, you um, use it to make a, a request like this. Yeah, so we have this one here. Um, so this is how we, we've been doing uh, HTTP calls. But this is no longer going to be supported because of the new addition or the new library uh, called the HTTP client. So to use that, you you have to import it from the Angular Common HTTP library, and uh, the name of the module is HTTP client module. So same way you import it into your imports, and to use it is very very easy. You just uh, import the HTTP client from, from the library and you you just make the request. It's an observable, so uh, you subscribe to it and that is it. So no longer uh, map, mapping JSON dot, uh, repos dot JSON and all those stuff. Very, very easy to use. So to learn more, go to uh, the Angular dot io slash guides slash http to learn more about this new uh library well it it has been in existence for a while but uh, it's been made uh, official in in the new angular version angular 5. the second one i want to talk about uh, is the new events that have been added uh, this event uh, help helps us to track the 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 start of uh, of a guide when a guide starts running up to the end of the activation. Uh, so here at there, the the uh, guys check start event, child activation starts, activation starts, guys check end, resolve starts, resolve end, activation end. And then child activation and so it helps us to track the life cycle from when the guard starts running to the end of the activation so to learn more go to the angular dot io slash api slash router slash event to learn more about these new router events so the next one is the build optimizer that has been added to the command line tool of Angular. And this is going to make our code base smaller than it was and also boot the speed of our application. So what does this do? All what it does is it removes uh, the unnecessary parts of our application, uh, our code, and also removes the Angular decorators. Uh, since the Angular decorators are used by the compiler and are not needed at runtime, they are removed so that it will reduce the code and also uh, increase our boot speed. Okay, so with the new option, 
added to the component decorator called preserve white spaces with this we can now indicate whether we want our white spaces like uh, tabs new lines spaces to be preserved or to be removed which is quite interesting so to preserve it you uh, pass through to, to the option if we don't want to preserve it you just pass false uh, so that is another addition you can check it out and, and use it in your application and the last one I want to talk about is the updates of the angular uh, library to in or the angular project to include rxjs 5.5.2 um, well the the reason is that previously to use a particular operator you need to import them one after the other like is done here but with the new version you can just import all in one statement huh. So this this brings uh, uh, more more clarity and decreases the the, the, the number of uh, code to write, reducing the code base. Uh, so to learn more, you can check out the RxJS uh, version 5.5.2 to 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 uh, know more about this. So that is it. Uh, if you have any questions, you can ask in the comments below. Um, if you want to learn more about uh, what is new in uh, Angular, you can head over to the Angular website or their blog. If you have uh, any ideas as to uh, what you think should have been added or how you're going to use the new features you can also provide them in the comments below